So a few years ago now, I put on YouTube a video of me building a uh, change machine using one of these Chinese uh, CH926 coin acceptors, a coin hopper Mark II and an Arduino. And although it hasn't got the most views of my videos, it's certainly the one that I get most requests about in terms of having more instructions. And to be honest, when I was making videos back then, I was really making them just as a video log. I didn't really uh, think that people would be particularly interesting. So what I am proposing to do now is try and make a how-to to put this thing together um, with temporary code and then a more permanent code which will accept all the different uh, coins that you put into the acceptor. So this is the first stage now. We've hooked the coin hopper up. Um, there's, I'll show you the connections on there. So it's the bottom four that we're interested in. In fact, it's connection six, sensor one. It's connection eight, 12 volts DC and it's connection 9 ground that we are interested in. So I've got green sense 1, I've got red to 12 volts and I've got ground. So on the whole thing that's the only connections we need to the cube hopper. And ultimately I've got that going straight through as a tangle of wires but ultimately this is just going through to my 12 volt power supply. And I've actually got this green sense 1 cable connected to this end here so that I can use this probe and I'll turn it on in a minute and you'll be able to see that a pulse is given out for every coin that is ejected from the cube hopper. So that's going to be our first test now we're going to turn this on and every cube that uh, every coin that comes out we should get a pulse from the coin hopper. Okay so if you haven't got one of these logic probes no worry but this is just to prove that as a coin is ejected we get a pulse on the logic probe. Okay, so you can see that it was pulsing for every single coin that was ejected. It should be the first test that you try to check that you are actually getting, uh, first of all, the coins ejected. So if you've not got a logic probe, at least just hook it up to 12 volts and check that you are actually ejecting coins. And if you have got a logic probe, check that every ejection of a coin that we get a, um, we get a pulse on that sense one line. It's that that we need to feed into the Arduino so that it, the Arduino can check that um, we've ejected a coin. Okay, so next stage. We're going to move now on to the Arduino. If you are familiar with this, then please by all means skip past it. But for a complete tutorial, I'm just going to run through this in case anybody's wanting to build this project with no experience of the Arduino. And what we need to do first is we need to download the Arduino um, software. So that can be downloaded for free. And then you need to uh, open up an example, which is Blink. So file, examples, and then go to basic, and then across to Blink. So Blink is an easy example. And then you need to go up to tools. You should be able to choose the correct board uh, from the list there. So again, I'm using a Mega. That is overkill for this project, by the way. You really don't need a Mega. I'm just using one because I've got one. Doom Love will do fine. Even, uh, pick the processor that corresponds to the board. So I'm using a 2560. And then this is the important part. Pick the port, COM port that it's attached to. Uh, so I'm attached there to COM4, as you can see. If you're not picking up the Arduino, then something's going on with the drivers. Okay. Once you've done that, then hit the uh, build uh, an upload button so you could verify the code but we know it's going to be fine so hit the upload button and what that'll do now is your board will start flashing as so and you can now see oops focus you can see that little LED there blinking so that's what that program is telling it to do blink on and off the lights quite bright in here so hopefully you can see that um, if you want to just take this one step further come up over to the code if this is your first time doing this come over to the code and you could change that delay time to 500 to change that delay time whoops sorry edit that delay time to 500 re-upload it and your light should blink faster at least that way now we know that we've got a working arduino we know that we've got a working coin hopper so the next step is the coin validator
Right, so we're going to start hooking this all up now. We've got 12 volts from this supply, and that's ultimately coming into the breadboard. And we've got from that breadboard, we're going to look at the coin hopper first. So we've got the coin hopper, uh, we've got live, neutral, and then sense. So we've got um, the neutral, so obviously the neutral from the power supply. And then all we've done is we've looped this, uh, we've looped the live through the relay. So I don't know whether you can see that, I'm just trying to get a shot of which side you want it on. So it's normally open uh, and then basically low will close that and make your circuit live. So basically all we're doing is looping that live from the 12 volt supply through to the 12 volt. So ultimately this is a switch isn't it which of course what it is it's a relay. So that's how we're going to power the um, hopper. And now what we need to do is power this side of it. So ultimately all I've got here now is 12 volts going to the, sorry, 5 volts going to the Arduino. So we've got 5 volt and ground, you can see that coming out and going to the 5 volts to the VCC and ground to obviously the ground. And then finally we've got the input IM and we're going to put that on pin 7 on the Arduino. Of course you could change this in the code but I've put this as pin 7 so okay so that's our first connection made pin 7 for the relay let's go back now to the coin hopper so we've obviously powered it and we're just going to take this sense line um, so this is the sense 1 line it's pin 6 on the on the hopper and we're going to connect that to pin number 2 on the Arduino so here we go So that's in pin 2 of the Arduino. So let's move over now to the coin validator. So with the coin validator we've got three wires again. Let's connect 12 volts to 12 volts. So this is why we use the breadboard just purely for power. And the ground to the ground so it's a bit difficult with one hand. There we go, so we ultimately will have powered now the coin validator and then finally we're going to take the um, output of the coin validator and we're going to put that onto pin 3. And now that is all the connections made, so we've got the coin validator powered and going to pin 3. We've got the hopper powered going through the relay and to pin 2 and we've got the input to the relay powered with 5 volts and going to pin 7. So the next step is to load the code to this and then we'll see it in action. Okay so we've loaded the code to the Arduino like we mentioned um, in the previous part where we just tested it with the blink code so we know that that is actually working. The code is on my website www.reynard.co.uk um, so you can get it from there. We're going to now put the 20p in, so 20p first and there we go, two. Now this is interesting, if you look at my old video, I did mention it earlier on in the video, for whatever reason, um, this is an old coin hopper, uh, cube hopper and this the, the coins are ejected much slower than the previous one but actually it is more controllable um, and I actually prefer it I think so let's go with a pound now we'll put a pound in it and let's count those up so we'll count those up one two three four five six seven eight nine Okay, so there you go. It is working as I've shown you before in my previous videos. Uh, it works with 20p's, 10p's, even a 10p you can get a 10p back out again. Uh, you can put two 2p's in, uh, sorry, you can put two 5p's in and it will give you a 10. You can put five 2p's in and it will, it will store that in its memory and it will give you a 10. Um, obviously we're limited to six coins so I've gone from two upwards uh, and ignored a 1p. Of course you could do this with any currency and of course with any currency in the hopper as well. 
Right, I hope that was helpful. Like I say, uh, all the code is on my website. There's a few stages to it. I've got a co uh, code separate that checks whether the coin validator is working uh, and just analyzes what coin you've put in. Uh, I have a separate code, I think, for the hopper just to check that that's actually giving out pulses and then you can work it on a button. Uh, it just checks all the different components and then, of course, I've got the final code which brings the two together with, uh, with the Arduino. So, thank you for watching. Again, that final code, just one last mention, the final code uh, that runs this is all running on interrupts, which is much better. I've seen a few people try and imitate this uh, since doing my original video, um, and they've, they've had some success. But, um, like I say, these are all on interrupts, so it's constantly monitoring the coins going in, and it's constantly monitoring uh, pulses uh, of coins coming out, so you can't miss anything. Uh, it's it's much less likely to go wrong. So like I say, check out my website uh, www.reynard.co.uk uh, All the information is on there. Cheers. Thanks for watching